Yeah, this is Pete Winters. Uh, this is the second segment I'm doing on the electronics. Last week we did one on the sonar. This week we're going to do one on the chart and the GPS. Then the following weeks we're going to do one on the side imaging and down imaging. Now, I've got my chart pulled up here. And, you know, when you buy your units, you can get on the HDSs, you can get them with the Insight or without. And basically what the Insight USA is, it comes built into the hard drive. It'll have a, a map of just about every lake in the country. I think anything that's ever had a topographical map made of it will be in this Insight hard drive. Uh, and what I've got in it, in addition to that, I've got a Navionics chip. Basically, when you put a chip in, it overrides what, what is in the hard drive. So I'm going to show you how to put the chip and stuff in here in a little bit. But I'm going to go over a couple basic settings. Uh, what you'll do is just go to Chart Options. And the first thing that comes up is Orientation. And it gives you three different options. Your course up, north up, or heading up. Basically, what you know, and I see a lot of people, they operate them on north up, and I, I really don't know why, but if you've got it on north up, your chart is always, you know, north is up here, so your chart is always like that, and then, let me just exit out of this for a sec, whatever way you're going down the lake, the map is going to be turned towards the north. Well, to me it makes more sense to have course up. That way, when I'm running down the lake, what's over to my, what the map is showing me is on my right hand side is actually there. I don't have to think about what direction I'm going or turn my head to get squared, squared away with north up. So, anyways, for myself, I like, uh, I like course up. And look ahead, uh, what that basically is there, you just, I've got it on, but you just hit enter to hit it off. And what that is, is right here, you've got yourself in the center of the chart, uh, you know, your boat. By putting it on to look ahead, see, which is right now it's on look ahead, I'm in the center of the chart. If I enter, oh, sorry, wrong one. Come on, that scroll down here, look ahead, hit enter. Now, what that did is it brought the boat down further on the page. So 90% of the time you're always going ahead, so that way you've got, you're down on the bottom 25% of your chart, and you've got more view out in front of you. You know, it would make sense to me to have it in the middle if you're going in circles, that way you can see more to your left and the right. And, you know, I'm really not too worried about what's behind me, I'm more worried about what's in front of me and to the side. So anyways, uh, orientation course up, I've got my look ahead, I've got it on, like I say, if you don't want it on, just hit enter, and you notice it, it moved the boat right up to the center of the page. I usually run it on. Now down here on settings, I pretty much just, uh, it comes set up just with everything, you know, I'm on the Presentation International, I got all the chart details. Now down here you'll see on the contour depths, I'm showing them all. And down here on safety depth, now you can only do that in the unit if you have a chip in it, like a Navionics chip. And basically what that does, it gives you four different depths to choose from. You know, it's set up so that when you're running in shallow water, if you're running on a lake that's got shallow water, so you could set it on seven foot and it take a second to enter. And basically it's going to show you everything is going to be highlighted in blue at seven foot or less. Uh, depending on what depths I'm fishing is where I'll set it. Right now I'm running it on 33 feet. I just hit enter. And what that does, it gives me a couple different shades of blue. So, like if I'm fishing a point, you know, I can see that, and by the contour lines where it's real black, I can see that that's got to be a bluff right there. There's very little blue and the black comes right up against it. But over here on this other side, I can see it's a long, flat point. See, so out here at the first shade of blue, it'll be about 18 foot. Now, this is based on if the lake is at normal pool. If the lake is down five foot, then you basically got to subtract five foot. 
And I come out to the end here and that's about 33 feet. So if I'm wanting to keep the boat basically in 30 feet and cast in, I can just get out here and follow the that blue line around. I don't have to watch the contour marks as close. So I find that to be uh, be real handy. Uh, another thing is, is you can even do a lot of your pre-fishing at home. Now, this is blinking because the unit hasn't picked up a satellite. I'm inside the shop, so it's not picking up a signal off the antenna. But you can do a lot of your pre-fishing at home. You can just, you know, zoom out on your map and depending on what you want to do, if you're looking for different structure, you can just kind of zoom around the lake with your uh, cursor here. And if you see something that looks good, you could just kind of zoom in on it. And, you know, if you find a little break or like you can, you can see right here, there's a little indentation where the depth changes right here. If you wanted to set a waypoint there, you could just come over here and actually just set a waypoint on the person, on the cursor. Uh, all I'd have to do is enter a new waypoint. It's going to give me the number of the waypoint. And over here, it's going to give me my coordinates. Then I come over here, and this is my uh, icons. Now, if that's a spot I just want to check out, you know, everybody has different little systems they use. I'll just put a blue X there. That means next time I go out, that's a spot I want to check. Now, if it was a spot when I was out there fishing and I found a brush pile, what I'd do is I'd just bring my icon down to one of these trees here so that I know it's a tree. And then I would save it as a tree. If it was a rock pile, I'd come over here to this deal. I think it looks like a rock, but I'd mark it with a rock so I, so I know what it is. And also, if you want to put a description you can come uh, down here and hit enter and you can put like you know it was a three to five foot break with some uh, scattered rocks on it but you can go ahead and type in what you want so you don't forget what it what it was but back here the icons you know a lot of times what I'll do is is I will set uh, two, two waypoints I'll set a waypoint where the rock pile or the brush pile is then I'll come down here to where this little boat is and I'll pick the icon that's a boat and I'm going to move on out of that. Now the reason I'll do that, I may set the waypoint and I've got either the rock pile or the brush pile. Then I'll set a waypoint <coughs> of a picture of the boat where the boat needs to be setting in order for me to reach it with a cast. You know, a lot of times what I'll do is I I put the icon of the boat out on the deeper side of the structure, so then I just line up with the brush pile in the bank, or what you know, the rock pile, whatever it could be. But that way there, I don't have to guess if I'm uh, close enough to it or far enough away. What I don't want to do is get up on top of the brush pile when I go to fish it. So by setting a boat there as that icon, that really seems to help me out. Now there's just a so many different things that you can do, you know, with the GPS, the way you set up your, your waypoints. Now these waypoints here, where it says TR, that's the Missouri Conservation's, uh, the brush piles that they've set. And you can go to their website, uh, I think it's MissouriConservation.com, and you can download 1,100 brush piles onto one MC card put them in here and download them into your unit. The neat thing about them is like this one says uh, TR724, so I know that's one of the state's brush piles. They come over to it and then hit information and hit details and it tells me it's an evergreen. Well, basically what that is, it's a cedar tree. Uh, if, if they sunk hardwoods or oak trees, it would say hardwood. If they put a stump field there, it would say stump field, rock pile, it would say rock pile. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty neat little program that they've got that tells you what the, what the structure is. And like I was showing you before, any of the waypoints that you set by yourself, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and name them and label them uh, anything you want, anything you want to call them. Uh, now as far as downloading waypoints into the unit off a card, or saving your waypoints from your unit onto a card. Probably the easiest thing is to go 
either online to Lawrence's website. They make a little cheat sheet. It's about a five-step deal to help you download, you know, whether you're importing or exporting. So rather than me going into that, if you will just Google, oh, I think it was Lawrence uh, HDS units, you can find that information on there, and it'll, it'll give you a little cheat sheet on how to up and download that. So until next week, uh, what we'll do next week is we'll do a little bit on the structure scan and the down scan, and then we'll try to do some on the water stuff. So until next week, uh, good luck with fishing.